If you've got people in your CRM in multiple different time zones, you may find issues where a time field that is actually in Pacific Standard Time, that in terms of your CRM being by default in Pacific Standard Time, and then an employee being in Eastern Standard Time, it can be a bit confusing if you're using the default time fields. Because for example, here if we looked at round robin assignment time, that let's say I'm in Melbourne, but I've got another colleague who's in El Salvador. When he looks at it, it's going to, instead of being 0555, it's going to be the previous day in maybe 455 PM. What if we want to have a universal time that is the same for everyone so that it's not confusing for customers? If we were to send them an email or an SMS, we want to make sure that it's very clear what time zone it is in. The way we can do that is by using a formula. We can make a new formula and we can call it something like created time in Australian Eastern Standard Time because that's what the organization time zone is. Then what we do in our formula expression, we're going to use date part, which is a way of getting just the date aspect in this format here. And then we're going to use time part, which is going to give us the time. And then we use concat to combine those together. So concat, we are passing in three things. One is the date, then we pass a space, and then we pass the time. And the end result is that it looks like this. That's going to appear the same for everyone in the CRM. Even if my El Salvadorian colleague logs in and looks at this record, he's going to see 12.16 p.m. on the 23rd of January. Whereas if he looks down here, wherever created time, yeah, down here, that's going to appear differently for him. That's going to be in his own time zone. So hopefully that helps you if you need to have a consistent view. Basically what you could do is if your CRM time zone is set to Eastern Standard Time, you can then confidently use this kind of a timestamp in emails and SMS that you send out and you would just prefix after that. We could even do it here. We could have something like have the time zone there so it's very clear what time it is. And if you needed to make it in a different time zone, you can actually do that by doing things using the hour formula. And you could then subtract two, for example, if I wanted to do Western Australian time. Hopefully that gives you an idea on how to proceed there.